You're listening to Living Successfully with your host, Bob Keaton. To communicate with us, visit us on the World Wide Web at www.livingsuccessfullyoneword.com. Now, more of our conversation on living successfully with the best-selling author of Messages in Water, Dr. Masaru Emoto. And I want to say thanks to Gina and Jennifer at epiphanyworks.org for sponsoring Dr. Emoto in the Pittsburgh area, and they made this interview possible as well. And special thanks to interpreter Kamika Miyasawa. Hi. Uh, for example, like I haven't really read the Bible. But um, for some reason, the first um, sentence of the Bible where it begins with, at first there was the word, um, that really resonates well with me, and I, it just kind of impacted me. I believe that what this really means is that at first there was vibration. Therefore, I believe that God created this universe or this planet by starting beginning with vibration. And I think that when God was trying to create this planet, you know, no matter how God was trying to scream or yell, it wouldn't go far, far enough. So as a medium to carry the vibration, um, God utilized water. Therefore, I believe that water is the carrier of God's intention. Well, you must be wondering, what is God's intention then? So, um, I believe that God's intention is to allow us human beings or um, the living beings on this planet to do whatever we like to do and to think whatever we like to do. Sort of like um, similar to the characteristics of water where it's no color, um, clear, you know, no particular odor. But one could easily think that water has turned against us, that indeed one could believe God has turned against us. Mm. Uh, so, um, Bob, that's a great question, but let me get back to that one because I haven't finished the one before. So to continue on with um, the last um, answer that I was trying to explain, the basic... Um, uh, you know, when you talk about um, you can, or humans, or the living things on this earth can do whatever you like, it means that the, however, the basic things must be done um, to um, re- preserve all the living things to be able to live beautifully. So what God has created, um, and as a father figure, you know, God is responsible to provide us with free en- energy, which I believe is water. And um, how this is, can be mainta- maintained or utilized is through love and gratitude. So um, I believe that love is the active energy, and thank you or gratitude is like a passive energy. So it's more like a yin and yang balance. So when this is kept, then the earth is fine, you know, it works um, beautifully. However, when this balance is corrupted, then anything that will corrupt the balance of this love and gratitude or energy will lead into the direction of dis- destruction or trauma or you know natural disasters, so-called natural disasters. Therefore, um, now, in explaining that further, this balance of love and gratitude or love and thanks is that when you take a look at the properties of water or um, the construction of it is H2O. And I believe that the H, the hydrogen, is gratitude, and oxygen is love. So... I believe the ratio should be two gratitude to one love. And that's the balance that'll keep, um, keep the balance. Wow, that's wonderful. So, um, if we ignore this balance, it'll create imbalance in the world. So, for example, in the past, I believe that all we were focusing on or understanding was that um, there was one love to one gratitude. I mean, people were just, you know, either loving or 
being thankful. So, therefore, I believe that this、えー、this created imbalance in the world, and now we're having a lot of disasters around the world, as you know. So, to To rebalance or to bring、um, the balance of the earth back so that it is more、um, uh, the, the earth as well, then we need to really send to gratitude or be more grateful, grateful, and then understand that you know, the balance between how much we should be thankful and to love and to understand this at a deeper level. And that's why I walk around the world. Um, passing on this message and spreading this message. Okay, so、um, not only just、um, natural you know, disasters in the planet, but for example, like diseases and ailments in human beings or any other living thing is、um, uh, the same thing too. If you go against the current of thinking positively and sending love and gratitude, then of course it'll destroy our emotions and our minds. And it'll lead to.、Um, Ailments and illnesses. So basically, what it means to me is that when we go against God's、um, intention and act in this way in our daily lives, then it'll affect us in a negative way. So the question is not, has God turned against us? <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, like、um, Bob, what you just mentioned about the natural disasters is all created by or stemming from water. So,、um, to explain that, is that, for example, let's take、um, the tsunami that occurred in December last year. Yes. Now, that occurred in a developing part of the world, so to speak, and was、um, not really predicted. It was, it was very a surprise for everyone in the world for the tsunami to hit. And take an example of the recent hurricanes. Yes. Now we had plenty of warning for those.、Um, but no matter whether it was known or unknown for the disaster to hit or to come, you know, we still have it caused a lot of havoc and、um, disaster, right? So I believe that this was all, I mean, this was all caused by water. So I believe that these things occur because we don't know anything about water. So, you may be wondering then why do we have tsunamis? What causes tsunamis? And then we can explain that, well, the earthquake causes the tsunamis. And then the earthquake, you know, why do we have earthquakes? Well, for example, like layer,、um, take layers of the earth. And we can see, we can find, you know, different levels of、um, consistency of water that creates hard earth or the soft part of the earth、uh, of this planet. And this, these are always、um, obviously caused by what the water ratio, you know, to the soil or the earth. So when this balance is kept, you know, we don't really have any natural disasters. But when it gets out of balance, it creates、um, a lot of disasters、uh, such as earthquakes. For example, like there are earthquake prone areas and there are other parts of the world that have no earthquakes. Yes.、Um, why is this? You know, some places、uh, it rains a lot and some other places never rains or rarely rains. So, to explain this, I believe that historically speaking, for example, we,、um, up until about、um, New Year's Eve at 11 p.m., 59 minutes and 59 seconds, we were okay. But we have a long, long, long line of history that we currently don't understand. And I think that in the past, Um, depending on how、um, the living beings, or including humans, how we, how we were, how we were behaving, how we were acting,、um, depending on that, you know, there are certain places that receive water and certain places that don't, and certain places that、um, you know, there's earthquake prone areas and that sort of thing. So to me, that's understandable. But to explain why there's certain areas not receiving enough water or certain areas having a lot of natural disasters, I can explain it. You're listening to a conversation with Dr. Masaru Emoto on living successfully. I'm Bob Keaton in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania. Dr. Emoto also said, The poles are melting. That's what we know. We'll talk more about our connection with water 
and the messages that he's found water giving back to us when we continue here on Living Successfully. We're on the web at livingsuccessfully.com, and Dr. Emoto's site is hado.net. That's H-A-D-O, hado.net. More in just a moment. What you're hearing right now on Living Successfully is absolutely real. It's Brian Morris from his CD, Mystic Callings. And Brian told me this was actually recorded while he was standing in a mountain stream. This is Living Successfully with Bob Keaton.